Thank you for viewing North End Masonry. We're almost done with the wall here in um, the North End, Boise, Idaho. What we got left are the joints. We're going to make this appear to be um, rather large stone. So we're going to put a joint there, there, and then maybe the other side will show. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I did. Okay, so where this joint is should continue over here. No, it didn't. So I wasn't even thinking of of that. So I guess it kind of marks where we have the joints already. A little bit more staining to do because some of these areas of the wall had some hairline cracks on it from having not enough sand in the mortar. This is um, an old antique style color. I like the cap. I like the cap because it's got a lot of variation in color but also texture. It just looks so old. And the best part about it is it only took about six dollars in material to bake. Uh, some of these ones over here are really big. You can see the brick underneath. Oh, that's a leaf. There's some parts where you can see the brick right there. There's some more right here. But I think the color is a little too dark for this neighborhood because we're not quite in the 100 year old home area. We're more like maybe 50 years or so. And so I was thinking maybe it'd be nice to have some of these redder sandstone buff and red. I don't know, we'll see what he thinks about that. So the staining needs to still be done over here. Looks like um, just the staining and then there needs to be some more carving right here where this cap is supposed to miter. Let's see if I can see it like that. Like that. And so right there we need to do a little bit of work on that. The end of this, I didn't, because at first we were going to go 90 all the way to that fence over there across and have a couple posts here for a future gate. But he changed his mind because it's taken me roughly 40 hours so far to do this. So it's costing him a thousand bucks. But I mean, if you were to try to find stone this color to go with, like, say, for instance, your house already had sandstone on it, and that sandstone was um, polluted and aged. Um, it turns black basically that's what color sandstone over time will turn and try to find some black sandstone um, that's already been aged it's going to be difficult so if you're going to do an add-on or you're going to build a wall around your house and you want to match the stone you might be able to pitch the stone or find somebody to pitch it and you know if you're willing to pay $35 a cubic foot is I think what pitch sandstone goes for. The caps are probably about 200 for a 24 by 24 pitched on all four sides and then with a little um, rain runoff on top. Those are about 200 bucks each. So, you know, when you're getting into um, linear feet, um, you're looking at you know, probably a wall this big just from here to there, which is 144 inches. So you're looking at about 12, um, what was that, 12 feet, no, that would be 144 inches, hold on, twice. Oh, that was 144, so it's 24 feet. So you're looking at 24 times, do the math, okay, 35, 24, so figure about seven. So you're looking at about $700 for the stone just by itself so um, then to put it in you know and then you got the caps are separate so 
if you do the math, you're looking at probably, I want to say, $2,100 for a wall that size. And um, this took 40 hours, so you got a little bit more time than it would be to build. But you get, oh man, what happened? Oh, there it goes. But you get this, um, you get this done, and, and you, of course, this will last, you know, as long as, well, however long stucco lasts, 80 years or so. I've seen it, some houses, um, if they, if they're just starting to deteriorate plaster or whatever. And so, um, I don't know what the stucco today will last. I don't, I don't know if anybody does. But, um, hopefully it'll last, you know. It, the good thing about it is, like I said, it's only a thousand dollars, and it's not done yet. But we've done some pretty. We've done about, it's about our twelfth one we've done, and people seem to like it a lot. I was thinking I could maybe show other masons how to offer this as 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 um you know one of their category or products that they can offer. Maybe do some I don't know maybe some seminars or something. And um, if people are interested in learning how to how to do this, it's really easy. I was thinking of also having teaching homeowners how to do it themselves. And so I don't know what I'm gonna do with it or call it yet. Um, if you got any ideas, feel free to um, shoot them over to me. Maybe we'll um, come out and do some free work for you um, in exchange. If you got a good enough name, what to call this stuff? Um, I thought of Styro Stone for um, the stucco that goes on styrofoam. That's kind of cool. All right, well, thank you for viewing North End Masonry.